Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Bite Size PD. My name is Ed Doherty, and today I'd like to share with you a fantastic resource and a fantastic tool for having some of those difficult conversations around digital citizenship. Every student probably thinks that it's not going to happen to them, but as we know, statistically speaking, right, numbers are on the rise for um, cyberbullying, for cybersecurity issues, for our digital footprint, and it's certainly a part of our education to make sure our students know about that and even the examples that impact them in their general life, right? So today we're going to talk about um, a curriculum through Common Sense Media, which you may have heard of before, but really how to enhance that with this freemium tool, uh, some free, some paid if you love it, with, called Pear Deck, which allows you to bring some into, uh, interactive activities into your slide deck. So let's check out both of these resources here today. All right, so the first one here to point out is Common Sense Media, which has our digital citizenship curriculum. So it's a free account. You can go in and log in. And when you log in, you get access to a full-on K-12 through curriculum that focuses on all of these great things here. So media balance and well-being. Obviously, through COVID, we're, we're even seeing a heightened sense of that privacy and security, digital footprint and identity, relationships, cyberbullying, and news and media literacy. All these are very key components. But what I love about digital citizenship through Common Sense Media is that they broke this down into what it looks like for a five-year-old versus what it looks like for a 17-year-old. And that really great scope and sequence is solid that if you were to implement some of this as well as your colleagues, it would really give a strong foundation, a good review, and build upon each other uh, through the curriculum throughout the years for your students to be better uh, digital citizens. So as middle school, right, I can go through here and I could find maybe a lesson for sixth or seventh. And let's see what they have. Here we go. So we can just click on one of these. So let's say we wanted to do digital drama unplugged. When I simply click on that login, here is everything that you need, right? So your learning objectives, your key vocabulary with the definitions here. And then a nice little lesson plan. If you only have 15 minutes, great. There's a quick activity here. If you have the full 45 minutes, there is a longer lesson here. Even better though, is there's lesson slides, any videos, any handouts, quizzes, family activities, tips, and SEO conversation stars, all linked within the lesson that you can simply open up and just rock and roll. So I did that on one of these slides, I opened up a grade six finding balance activity. And this is a quick overview of the slides, right? So your essential question through your objectives, all the way through the vocabulary and the lesson as it was described on the website, but it's all built out for me. But knowing that a lot of this is more difficult conversation that uh, you want full student participation, a tool like Pear Deck allows just that. So it is a Google slide add-on. So underneath add-ons here, you could install it, right? Using the get add-ons. And I already have mine here. So I can open up Pear Deck. It jumps out to a little pop-out screen to the right. And from here, you really have two options, right? You have this beautiful template library that you can insert uh, slides that are built out for you. Or you have these options down here to just add a question to a slide already created. Um, what that allows you to do is bring that interactive element into it. So I'll show you both of those real quick. Um, so let's scroll down here a little bit and say that there's obviously a question here. So ways to unplug, capture student responses here. Okay, so ways to unplug. I probably want text, right? I want them to respond, leave, keep it pretty open-ended. So because the slide's already built, I can use one of these add-on questions and Pear Deck will do most of the work here. Okay. So there we go. And because it's open-ended, there is no multiple choice for me to create, right? It's just done. Get this cool little Pear Deck banner across the bottom that lets you know that this is now interactive. So when I go to start this lesson and run it through Pear Deck, when I got to this slide, the green ways to unplug would show up on the board, but on the student side, they would actually have a text box to add in their answers, which is great. If I don't have a slide that I love, but I do want to ask more questions, like I feel like uh, Common Sense Media did a great job, but I need another question here. 
Uh, maybe after digital habits, I want to add another like checking for understanding, maybe a temperature reading to feel how the students feel about this concept. So I can go to the template library instead of adding a general question. And you can see you have beginning, during, and end of lessons. These are totally customizable. They're sort of just grouped, but you can change the text on each of them. So here you can see that these slides are created for me, right? So the background, the clip art of the people or the division here of the breaking down, um, any one of these I can use. Underneath it, you see what type of slide it is. Uh, for free, you do get the text slides, you get the multiple choice slides. For the paid, you'd get the drawing slide and the draggable slide. So if I wanted to, I can come in here and say, I wanna add a text slide, which this whole slide will now jump into my slide deck. There we go. It's got that banner, as I talked about a second ago, already on it, it's gonna be a text box. So it says students write your response, but you'll see that this text box is live. So of course I can change this. All right, tech. That's the question I want to ask. And I'm all set, right? My question's ready to go. Slides done. The banners are ready there. So in under five minutes, right, I added two questions that are going to be live for my students. The rest of this was already created through Common Sense Media. So I'm good to go. Now, when you go to share your lesson with your students, you wanna make sure you go back to add-ons and open up that Pear Deck add-on. And you will click on start a lesson. And when you click on start a lesson, you have the ability to do self-paced for students or the live version. In this example, I chose live version. And the file will load, ask your students to go to joinpd.com and insert this code here. When you insert that code, you will be good to go and start your lesson. And let me show you a little bit of what that looks like on the student side. J C E J C E B P M. Perfect. So ask me how I'm feeling today. And here is the slide deck. But just to show you the interactive element, right? This is a live pace. So when I get to the question that allows me to type, here it is. Here is the student version. You can see the slide on my left and my ability to type in my answers here. Add it in. And then of course, as the instructor, I can see those responses. And I wrote type answers. That's why you see type answers. Okay, so a really cool way to get all of your students to provide their voice into the lesson, especially if the topic is a little bit more difficult to start the conversation. But what I'd like to do here is when I have these answers, I do like to say, hey, I, I like the idea of finding balance through this. What do y'all think about that? And then you can have your classroom discussion, right? It sort of gets their teasers out there. It's their words that create the content. And then you can sort of drive the conversation from there. When you're done, you just end that lesson. And you're all set. So check it out. Go for, to Common Sense Media and check out their scope and sequence for the curriculum. Go ahead and download that free add-on for a Pear Deck and combine the two and try it out. Hopefully that will help you have some of those difficult conversations around being a better digital citizen. You get a little bit more input from your students and overall your engagement around these topics will increase. Hope you enjoyed this session. We'll see you next time.